Chelsea's mammoth march continues in Amsterdam with the Blues facing Ajax at the Johan Cruyff Arena in the first leg of the Champions League quarter-final. Brighton, Cuthbert. Brighton managing to win it back. It's going to break through Lauren James's way. She thinks she's offside, but she'll put it in anyway. Brighton asking the question. Goal given, and Lauren James does have her first Champions League goal of the season. And Chelsea lead with 20 minutes on the clock. Well, she was so calm here, which we shouldn't be surprised at. She's definitely onside. I think she thought she was off, though. Brilliant tenacity from Wrighton. Little bit of luck with the way it ricocheted back to James, but how about that for a cool finish? Buchanan. Wrighton. Nuskin, 2 0. And this one surely will stand. Shoka Nuskin again. What an eye for goal she's got. And Wrighton, having just had one chalked off, well, she's definitely onside there, isn't she? Really high quality delivery. And on the slide, Nuskin makes it to just before half time. Here's Kat Macario. Nuskin wants it played her way. There she is, 3 0. One foot in the semi-final, surely. Two for Nuskin for the second game running. Macario made it just off the bench. Nuskin all alone. She's such a nuisance. It's Ajax nil, Chelsea three. Chankovic. That is that exceptional performance from Chelsea here tonight. They've beaten Ajax by three goals to nil and they are well set for a place in the semi-finals of the Champions League once again. Emma, a 3-0 win here in Amsterdam. What do you think of the game? Um, I thought it took us about 15 minutes to settle into a rhythm. I thought we were too open in that first part, maybe too you know, keen to go forward in the wrong moments. But once we settled into the game, once we, used to, we started to use the wit and switch the play well, put good balls in at the box, got two goals. Uh, I'm really, really delighted with the way we responded when the goal when the goal was disallowed. Second half, very professional performance. Again, finishes coming on. Nuskun showing her qualities in front of goal. And I thought Buchanan and Carter, you know, were really solid tonight. And let's go back to that sort of few minutes of madness. Obviously, we don't have VAR in the in the WSL. What, what was going through your head through, through those sort of few goals? I'm not used to VAR, so once they blew up for whatever it was, I just accepted it. And then when they said, oh, it's VAR checked, I thought, oh, well, great. Well, if it's a legitimate goal, unlike the Real Madrid away game, we won't be robbed of a legitimate goal. Equally, if Dean, you know, Shokanuskan to be in an offside position or interfering with play, and she was correct. Both decisions were correct. And what a response. One minute, one minute later, after the goal was disallowed? That's what I like the most, the attitude. The attitude of, we're not going to, you know, relax in that moment. I thought we absolutely wanted to get that goal and showed that determination and quality. And obviously, speak about Nuskin, the form of her life? Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking of putting her in goal next week. She's been so outstanding in so many positions and you know, she's forming a nice partnership up there with um, Lauren James. And she fills the spaces really well and she did it well again tonight. And you say about a professional performance in the second half, it had to be, wouldn't it? Because the game's not nearly done. 35,000 people in here, it's quite intimidating. So to perform the way we did away from home, we've certainly showed that maturity in Europe and deserving to be in the place we are.